Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! Now I know what some of you are thinking. Joseph, why are you playing Galaxy Photon? That's not jank, it's a good deck. And if you said that, seek help now! For those of you unfamiliar with Galaxy Photon, let me paint you a little picture. It's 2017. A fledgling yu tuber named Joseph Rothschild has just uploaded what will become his most hated 10-minute testing ever. It's not Fluffle. It's not Ghost Trick. It's Galaxy Photon. Galaxy Photon is, by all accounts, a bad deck, but like no other deck before it or since, the pilots of this strategy pretend that it is actually secretly good. To this day, if you post a video of you losing with Galaxy Photon, people will show up in the comments and say that you lost because you built it wrong, and then they'll offer you some of the worst deck building advice you've ever heard. This particular type of duelist's genesis, no pun intended, happened around 2014 when the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon was released to the world. So what does this impressively overhyped deck do? Well, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, despite being the flagship monster of the archetype, actually doesn't accomplish much in it. Instead, it's just one more 8-star monster in a series of cards that facilitate very easy rank 8s. Galaxy Knight, on normal summon, can summon a Photon Dragon from your graveyard. Galaxy Tyranno can special itself from your hand in defense position if a Galaxy monster you control is targeted for an attack. Galaxy Wizard is a modular 4 or 8-star monster, depending on what you need, and Lilybot and Orbital 7 form the basis of a resource loop that makes rank 4s and 8s with staggering consistency. Add to that some really powerful spell cards, Excel Light summons a galaxy or photon from your deck, no matter the level, at the cost of your normal, Galaxy Expedition, if you control a level 5 or higher photon or galaxy monster, lets you summon another one from the deck, Galaxy Zero is premature burial, except the monster can't attack or activate its effects, and of course Soul Charge is a 3 in this format. Shockingly, in 2014, almost no deck was as equipped to make consistent and repeat rank 8 and rank 4 monsters the way that Galaxy Photon does. It's not difficult to see why so many duelists thought that this archetype would be playable. It's of course a little harder to see how they thought it'd be playable like six sets later, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Photon Hypernova, any day now. The most impressive part of this deck is just how flexible rank 8 Xyz monsters were for the time. Divine Dragonite Felgrand, of course, is a standout even today, but Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis is removal. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Neo is an incredibly powerful card in Galaxy specifically. They've got some ciphers, Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder, and even Alessi the Sylvan High Protector comes in occasionally. Add to that a repeatable 4 engine with Lilybot acting sort of like a wolf bark for Orbital 7, and you you can get access to game states where you're losing, like Exoton Knight, 101, and even on theme monsters like Star Liege Paladynamo. I'm excited to wield this deck, but afraid that doing so proficiently will finally prove all my haters from all those years ago right. We'll begin with Galaxy Knight. If you control a Photon or Galaxy, you can normal him for free, and if you do so, you can summon a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your graveyard. Galaxy Tyranno is just an 8 that occasionally specials itself. Wizard is either a 4 or an 8, depending on what you need, and contribute itself to add a Galaxy card from deck to hand. Photon Dragon is a guy. He's an 8 with a 3000 attack stat, and he's got a pretty beneficial ability. He can tag out when he attacks a monster and return it during the battle step, which is meant to remove material from Xyz monsters. Lilybot and Orbital 7 are really bad, but they're also monsters that work well with each other. Lilybot can reborn Orbital 7 on normal and can activate her effect to summon photon or galaxies from the hand, and both of these monsters are light machines with 500 or less attack, making them perfect for machine duplication. Honest is in here because we're on all lights, followed by Excel Light, Darkhole, Triple Expedition, Triple Zero, 
zero, triple dupe, triple soul charge, triple trade in. Most of the time that you're actually able to win games is because you've drawn about 15 cards of your deck and loaded up your graveyard with nuts, bonkers, monsters to reborn with Galaxy Zero, a solemn warning, and a torrential tribute in the side. We've got three DD Crow, three Effect Veiler, three Maxi, three Forbidden Lands, and three Royal Decree. Very easy when we are playing two traps total. In the extra, we've got Abyss Dweller, Alessi, Bugenti, Sukiomi, Triple Felgrand, a copy of Evil Swarm, Exiton Knight, Hieratic Sun Dragon, Laval Chain, Neo Galaxy Eyes, Silent Honor Arc. Number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Not actually particularly strong uh, when compared to the rest of the eights. Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, and of course, Star Liege Paladynamo. So with that, here's Alex. Well, it was only a matter of time before this deck reared its ugly head in the history of Jank. This is Noble Knight. A lot of you may remember this as the deck that a lot of people wanted to be tier one, but it just wasn't up to snuff compared to especially what else was out at this time. It just was not good enough. There was so much support that was pumped into this TCG exclusive archetype. And honestly, I kind of wanted it to work. I liked the whole lore behind it. I thought the artwork was actually sick, but it sadly just really didn't come together. It wasn't bad. Like we've played much worse decks in history of Jank. Don't get me wrong, but when you see it, it's just kind of a clunky mess, but when it goes off, it's one of the coolest things ever, and hopefully we get to show that off today. So let's do the card by card. If you've never seen this deck before, this is a typical protect the castle style of deck, very fitting because these are all knights, but the idea is you're trying to summon this big fucker down here, Sacred Noble Knight of King Artorgus. This requires two level fives in order to summon, and on Xyz summon, you can target up to three noble arms equip spells with different names in your grave. Equip those targets to this card, and once per turn, you can detach a Xyz material, target another monster on the field and destroy it and if this thing gets killed you just get to special summon a noble knight back and just do everything all over again so your basic combo includes noble knight medrot which on normal summon doesn't do anything but if you equip it with a noble arms equip which we happen to be playing seven of i guess technically guinevere actually also counts as two as well so you have uh i'm sorry seven what are we talking about there's eight of them and then these two so there's realistically ten then it becomes an effect monster that has this effect it becomes dark and its levels increase by one that's how we get to level five and once per turn if you control no other monsters you can special summon a noble knight from your deck in defense except medrot and if you do destroy one equip spell so what you're going to do is you're going to equip any of your equips then you summon out a copy of boars now boars has an effect that again similar to medrot it doesn't do anything when it's uh, just on the field but if it's equipped it has its effect so again it becomes a dark and its levels increase by one during your main phase you can reveal three noble arms from your deck and have your opponent randomly add one of them to your hand send the rest to the graveyard so what's nice is that the noble arms equips have this effect that when they're destroyed while on the field, you can actually re-equip them to one of your monsters. So, you're going to summon Medrot, equip it with something, summon Boars, it's going to pop whatever arm you equip to it, re-equip it to Boars, so Boars has his effect. You pick three noble arms. Ideally, you want to pick one of each. You have different names for your sacred noble knight. Dump them to the grave. You add one to your hand. Equip whatever you added to the Medrot to make them both level five. Overlay for your copy of sacred noble knight of King Artorgus. And since you dump three to the grave with the boars, you can equip any three of them back to him. And now you just have this gigantic chonker that just can't be killed, essentially. And that's the whole idea, right? That's why we have Kaiser Coliseum and Royal Decree, just to protect this guy as much as possible, because if we actually end up summoning him, we're in a pretty good position. The rest of the deck is sort of just filling that role out and just trying to support what we're trying to do. So let's do the card by card. So Guinevere is a noble arms equip. So you can technically use it even though it is a monster to equip it to one of your noble knights. And it gives it 300 attack and it gets an appropriate effect depending on how it's equipped. So if the monster is light, if the equipped monster is destroyed by card effect, you can destroy this instead. But if it's dark, if the equipped monster battles an opponent's monster at the start of the damage step, you can destroy that monster then destroy this card. So there's a nice flexibility with Guinevere. Then we have three because it's one of the best cards. Noble Knight Brothers, this card, holy crap. A lot of people thought this card was insane, but this card is not very good. Uh, so it can't attack unless you have three Noble Knight monsters and no other monsters. On normal, you can special two Noble Knights from your hand, but you can't special summon except Noble Knights. And once per turn, you can target three Noble Knight and or Noble Arms cards in your grave, shuffle them into the deck, then draw one card. 2400 defense on a level four is also quite big. The third effect is the most useful out of the three, just because you get the ability to draw, and it's pretty easy to dump stuff into the grave. But this card is, kind of mid. It's not that great. Driston is kind of interesting because if it's equipped, you can just target a face-up card on the field and destroy it. And it also has this protection effect while it's equipped, which again, could be relevant, but it doesn't protect your bigger thing, so it's kind of meh. We have Noble Knight Gawain, which is nice, but he's only good for going into rank fours, and that's pretty much it. And then we have three Medrot, who is the heart and soul of the deck. Then the spells, we have Triple Lance to protect our big guy, Triple Kaiser Coliseum. I don't know why this card's still legal. And then we have the Noble Arms. So all the Noble Arms, I believe, have the ability that if they are destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard, 
you can re-equip them to another uh, warrior type noble knight monster you control and you can only use that effect once per turn so that's nice to synergize with medrot and then they all have a respective effect so our for Deuter, once per turn you can target a set card your opponent controls the equip monster loses 500 attack and if it does destroy that target so that's kind of sick we have caliburn which once per turn you can gain 500 life points and it gives the monster equipped with it 500 attack excalibur makes it so that the monster can't be targeted and also has an effect to like rank up your uh, noble knights and grave which is kind of sick galatin just gives the monster a thousand attack but each standby phase it loses 200 and destiny makes it so that once per turn the equip monster can't be destroyed by battle or card effects so they're all good in their respective rights ideally you're trying to go for excalibur and destiny and then like probably caliburn you could go for galatin if you want a bigger dude but like caliburn's probably good enough most of the time it really just depends on what your opponent is playing rota's good because it gets you to medrot triple soul charge i mean if all else fails you can just bring everything back and just go for the plays again and then we have triple veil or triple decree in the main rounding out the main 40 for the extra it's just a bunch of fours and fives we have dweller we have double artorgus king of the noble knights this is the rank four version so this one is still fine onyx sees some you can target three noble equips and different names and equip them to him so they has the same effect but once return you can detach and exceed material destroy any number of spell and traps on the field up to the number of noble arms equipped so he's sort of like a mini harpy's feather duster which is kind of sick because if you equip three he can pop three spells and traps we have blade armor we have sukuyomi we have exaton we have gaia dragon because we are playing fives we have 101 we have uh, ragna zero we have volcasaurus crazy box two of our sacred noble knight of king artorgus because he's our best card a paladinamo because our deck's primarily light and tiras keeper of genesis the side we have triple maxi triple msc a bottomless triple breakthrough skill a warning a torrential dimensional fisher macro cosmos as well as soul drain i can't wait to play this deck i this is gonna be a fun one and uh hopefully with the way this matchup's looking it's actually going to be interesting for you guys to watch so let's not make you guys wait any longer ladies and gentlemen it's time to duel Oh boy, Joseph, here we are once again. Uh, two decks this week that are actually, like, kind of okay, I would say. I think, like, maybe my deck might have been better poised for, like, last episode with the Artifact Battery Man deck, but uh, I mean, we'll see. Maybe maybe your deck will surprise us. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm constantly told in the comments of all of my videos that Galaxy is actually a really good deck if you're smart enough to play it, so... I'm yeah. excited to see what it can do. I don't understand why people are obsessed with this archetype. It's wild! It, it truly, they got shooters out here. They really do have shooters. I guess. So I does guess. Noble right, Knight. Let's the patron. Max Million May. Thank you for the support. I have my dice this time. Oh, God. So uh, we're right. going to be rolling. Uh, I guess I'll got just... the hand up? No, I don't. Okay, there we go. All right, I rolled a two. Even. It's even. I mean, the whole deck Woo! is even. Fours, eights. Yep. You know. Fours, eights. Os, everything. twos, you know. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we not appreciate there the galaxies? All right, uh, let's go ahead and go first. And I think <laughs> this may shock you. I bricked. <laughs> yeah, well, you better figure uh, out something to do because, I mean, shot my, my hand looks great. Okay, uh, here's a good plan. I'm going to set one, activate Kaiser Coliseum. Okay, well, now <laughs> my, my hand back. looks a lot worse now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Let's go trade in. Sure. All right. Sure. Draw a couple of cards here. MST. Galaxy Tyrant. I like how this is like the exact same pose mm. as Black Tyranno, but he's just Galaxy version. Yeah, that's fine. I really do. I mean, I have everything, but for the stupid fucking KC. <laughs> Don't you love KC, buddy? It's still at three, and it's it will continue to be at three for several years. All right. We're going to normal summon Galaxy Wizard. Sure. I actually know what this card does. We're going to activate the effect to get a Galaxy card from our deck to our hand. I cannot stress to you how close I am to just killing you, <laughs> but for the god dang Kaiser Coliseum. Okay. We're going to trade it's in past, again. Buddy. Sure. I'm, sure. I'm finding Draw all the cards you want. I'm, They're not going to matter. You trade in again. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Have all the draws you want. I, there are MSTs in here. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll draw. Are there MSTs uh, in here? There's, yeah, there's, there's stuff. Can I... Ooh. Okay, what do we do now? Now we actually have some plays because I had I survived a turn. That's all I needed to do. Okay. Uh, I like this Kaiser CM quite a bit, so I'm going to flip Noble Knight Brothers, a 2400 defense level four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to normal summon Gawain because I cannot special him because I don't have a light and normal, unfortunately. Uh, the problem is that this deck is just too good. Uh, yeah. It's too good, truly. Uh, we're going to hit for 19 because Brothers can't attack unless I have three Noble Knights. Yeah. Uh, second main, I'm going to overlay these two. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make a card we're going to see probably a little bit of here. Bujinte Sukuyomi. Yes. Uh, I'm going to set 
one card face down, mm -hmm. and I'm going to fire... Eh, you know what? Screw it. We'll set two face down. I'll fire Tsukiyomi. Let's go ahead and get rid of... I don't really think it matters in all honesty. Let's just get rid of this idiot. Uh, we'll pitch the Dristin out of our hand and draw two cards. Yep. Much better. Okay. Uh, I'll pass the turn. I can wait another turn. Feather Duster? No. <sighs> this doesn't do what I want, does it? Uh, this is really whack. I'm going to Soul Charge for one. Uh, yeah, sure. Grab back this, uh, Gept. Uh, we'll keep him in attack. Uh, I'm gonna set a card and then pass turn. I have to deal with that thing. That's kind of a problem. Especially because I have Xyz monsters in this deck. Uh, stand by me. Yes. Let's go ahead and fire Sukuyomi. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get rid of our whole hand. Mm -hmm. which comprises of a decree and two noble arms. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, let's go ahead and normal summon noble knight boars. Uh, we are going to then use the effect of our noble arms Arfreduter and equip it to boars. Yep. Uh, let's use the effect of Arfreduter. We're going to target your set card. If this resolves, my boars will lose 500 attack and I can pop your set card. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Galaxy Expedition. Uh, so that really did not matter in the slightest, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, but now that we have our boars equipped, we can actually use the effect of boars. So we're going to do that now. So we get to reveal three of our noble arms. One of them will randomly go to our hand, and the other two will go to the grave. So, uh, who do we not have in rotation at this point? We don't have Destiny, Galatin, or Caliburn. So I think let's just get one of each of those going. Caliburn? Caliburn? Ah! Oh, okay. Galatin got added to my hand as a result of that. There's really not a surprise there, because you know what the other two are. Uh, I still have to deal with the big fucker over there, which is kind of a problem. Unfortunately, we are still missing some important pieces here. Otherwise, I could <laughs> do a bit more. Happy to hear it. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to soul charge of my own. Oh, God. Okay. I think I'm only going to go for... It's rough because I don't have a way to get another five on the field for the big fucker. So the backup plan is to do this. Uh, we'll just go for... Uh, we'll go for the kitchen sink. I'll go for three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, yep. Can't attack anyway, so I may as well. Next, we're going to overlay these two, and we're just going to make... Yeah, I think I just have to make 101 to clear your thing. Oh, boo, you whore. Yeah, give me him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, unfortunately, I can't really do much else, so I'm just going to set one and uh, can't attack, so go ahead. Ooh, you better have your own Torrential there. Wow, that's the literal worst draw in my deck. Uh, no big deal. Um, so we are going to go... We can do it like this. I gave you free reign now that I have four <laughs> monsters on the field. <laughs> we are going to normal... Uh, uh, oh, God, I wish this worked a little better. We're going to normal Lilybot. Duplication. That's a problem. I'm going to lance your Lilybot. Does that do what you want here? I'm pretty sure because it checks on res and it wouldn't be affected by the machine do. Uh, we'll special a bunch of Lilybots. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I could just make Cyton here, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to activate the Lilybot sure. uh, to summon Gept here. Okay. Uh, go to combat. All right, we'll go into the honor arc, and then we will... Okay, so I take nine here. Well, we're going to declare galaxy eyes. Oh, no, I forgot. Fucking, I smoked RJ with this in Sealed Showdown not too long ago. Okay, yeah, so this gets banished instead, which is infinitely worse. Uh, we will return galaxy eyes at the end of the battle phase. And it gains 500 attack. <laughs> yeah, Woo! epic. Uh, you get yours back, too. Um, I do. Yep. Second main, we'll fire Galaxy Expedition. Uh, we are going to summon from deck a Galaxy Tyranno. I know what you're thinking. What a good card. I, I agree. Gonna, <laughs> Considering you traded in the other two, I imagine it's fantastic. We're going to overlay these two for Felgrand. Okay. We're going to activate Felgrand targeting itself. Okay. And then we are going to overlay for Exciton Knight. Oh my god, this is insane. Yep. Uh, we'll go Exciton Knight effect. Yep. Lose everything. All right, and uh, back to you, Mr. Kaiser Coliseum. Kaiser. Two Kaisers. Two Kaisers, yeah, we're so good. Yeah, we're probably dead. Uh, yeah, we're probably dead. 
I will normal noble knight brother. Yeah. I will activate his effect. Oh shit. I can target three noble knights or noble arms in my grave, shuffle them into the deck and draw a card. Yeah, I don't believe you have a special. Let's Felgrand that guy. Uh, That's actually very bad for me in that case. Yeah, I'm not dead. So what is this on board? Seven plus 28 to 35. You need 1500 attack to beat me. I'm going to be honest with you. It is actually quite difficult for me to find that level. I will attack. pass and Come pray. On. Uh, that's one of the better draws in my deck, but we'll normal summon Galaxy Wizard. Sure. Wizard effect. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, fun fact, uh, there's not a lot left. Uh, we will grab Galaxy Zero. I'll activate Galaxy Zero, targeting Gept. Now, this card cannot attack or activate its effects. Seems like a very good card. You might, yep. yeah, it's it's a good one. It's a good one. We will get in for some amount of damage here. This is a light. Yeah, this is, yeah 16 and then 19. All right. Uh, back to you. I will tell you right now, if I draw Medrot, I, like, probably win the game immediately. I will draw. <gasps> oh, my God! I, you just need I to... am so good at this oh, fucking game. Lord! <laughs> All right, let's run you through how this deck is supposed to work. All right, so normal summon Medrot. Normally, this card sucks because it's a normal monster. It has no effect. But if I equip it with a Noble Arms, it becomes a dark, a level increased by one. And if I control no other monsters, I can special summon a Noble Knight monster from my deck in defense position. So let's go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, I don't really think it matters at this point. I think at this point, we just want a copy of Boars. Yeah. So we'll get Boars out to the field. And this is going to pop the Gallatin. Mm -hmm. Now, Gallatin has an effect that sh in, when it's destroyed from the field to the grave, I can equip it to the monster or any monster. So I'm going to equip it to the Boars. Mm -hmm. uh, this enables Boars to use his effect. We're going to dump uh, three noble arms here. So I'm going to use the little macro. Uh, we're going to choose a... Uh, oh, I have chose Gwenifar yet. Let's pick her. Okay, Excalibur, Gwenifar, and honestly, I think I only have three targets left, so this happened to just work out. Oh, I was really hoping you didn't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. So those two go. We have one of them in our hand. We can equip Excalibur to our Medra to also make him a five. Yeah. And now, since both of these are level fives because of their effects, we can overlay them for the big chonker himself, Sacred Noble Knight of King Artorigan. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. So this guy's a disaster for you. Uh, when he's Xyz Summon, I can target up to three Noble Arms equip spells in my graveyard with different names and equip them to this card. Uh -huh. And so after that, once per turn, I can detach and exceeds material from him, target another monster on the field and just destroy it. And uh, he's just he's just a house. So I'm going to quickly think about what I want to equip to my little guy over here and see how we can just turn this back around in our favor. Excalibur seems pretty good just so he can't be targeted. Destiny seems pretty good so he can't be destroyed. And uh, you have, what, a 2800 Felgrand and a 3000 Galaxy Eyes that literally does, does not do a field. goddamn thing. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, Arfredutor only pops sets. It doesn't pop back row in general, so it's not that great. In that case, I guess I will just go for Caliburn. Okay. So this puts me at four cards. I need to be mindful of Exiton here because that's actually quite important. What are we going to do here? I'm going to activate Caliburn. I can just gain 500 life points. Yes. So I'm going to do that. Life points are running a bit low here. Uh, so currently now my dude is a 2700 attack that can't be targeted or destroyed. That's true. And we can also equip Gwenifar to him as well. I think I might do that after... Uh, depending. Let's see. So we're going to go to battle. Uh, I'm going to clear Exiton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take, what, three here? Uh, you'll take eight because mm. Excalibur, or excuse me, Caliburn's giving an extra five. Sure. Exiton goes. Uh, second main, I'm going to equip the Gwenifar from the graveyard to Artorgus with her effect. So now this puts Artorgus up to 3,000 and also gives it the ability that if it would be destroyed by a card effect, I can destroy Gwenifar instead. Uh, we're going to use the effect of Artorgus. We're going to get rid of Medrot and we're going to pop, as a matter of fact, we're going to pop your Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon because Seems if you right. have like some shenanigans to pull off with rank eights, Felgrand's not doing jack shit right now so i'm not worried about that and uh over to you buddy that's the literal best draw in my deck that's incredible oh god this is Don't really shocking that. uh whoo. all right so what's what's going on with this guy you can't target him you can't destroy him uh if there is some way you could destroy him gwenifar could substitute get rid of herself instead 
Uh, and then he's 3,000 attack. Let's normal orbital seven. Uh, this uh, card sucks. Um, <laughs> but we do have dupe, so that's something. Okay, yeah, there's something. There's something. Okay. Now I see why I was dead on the first turn if I didn't have Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> uh, we'll go another orbital seven. Interesting. Only went for one, or do you only play two? Mm, very interesting mm, indeed. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So the problem here is 101 does not beat you. So you Correct. can't be targeted. Uh, what am I? Okay. I see what, what the play is. Okay. We're going to overlay these two. They are lights. So we will make Bujinti Sukiyomi. Okay. You're going to try to draw your way out of it? I am. Sure. We will pitch. I, this is going to shock you. The third orbital seven. <laughs> no. All right. Ooh, one yes. time, I think Soul Charge does it. Is not soul charge. <laughs> All right, we got a turn to find it. Uh, back to you. Okay, uh, we'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. Uh, we're gonna declare caliber and gain 500. Yep. Uh, get us slowly out of the danger zone. Now the problem is, uh, as, as you pointed out, I I cannot kill you unfortunately. We'll go battle. I guess I'll get in the damage here. This is what uh, two. I'm three thousand to your twenty eight. Yeah, so two hundred. Sure. Uh, then second main, I will go affect our Torgus, pop the Tsukiyomi. Uh, it would, still would have had a material under it. You don't detach to, but that's fine. I don't want you drawing again anyway. Okay, hold up. Uh, um, then thinking here. So we're going to go, uh, Bujinti Tsukiyomi here, and we'll summon back Beast Warrior Bujins from my grave. Oh, okay. Uh, so I see. So we have zero of Who you those. Targeting? Uh, so Excellent. you're, you're fine. Uh, then I will, I, I, I'm chilling. Come on. Go ahead. Come on, baby. Um, uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, no way. That's unbelievable. Oh my god, the Medrot top deck. That was, I knew as soon as it came out of your mouth, I was like, <laughs> Oh boy. What's it like? being able to just divine whatever card you need to the top of your deck. You, you should be happy that I'm on your team for the 3v3. Uh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> you should be happy about this. Uh, let's uh, let's lead. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if this is right. I almost want to just pass. Uh, we get the sixth card, right? Yes, you do. Okay. That didn't help at all. With my decision making. The correct play with this hand is to pass. But if you have exactly Kaiser Coliseum, I lose. What are the, Joseph, what are the chances that I have Kaiser Coliseum in my hand? What, Probably, what are the chances that A, I have Kaiser Coliseum in my hand, B, I actually kept it in sideboarding knowing I'm going second? What, what are the chances? Probably about 100, I would say. Oh, it feels so bad. I'm going to normal summon Galaxy Wizard. I will activate the effect. Okay, uh, let's grab... Galaxy Expedition. Yep. Okay. I'll draw. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can breathe a sigh of relief. I do not have. <sighs> okay. uh, I do have Medrot though. That's fine. You'd fucking do whatever you want. Uh, who are we equipping to Medrot? Uh, let's equip Noble Arms Arfreduter. Claire Medrot. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we will get Boars. This is the combo. Uh, so this gets popped. Then the effect of Arfreduter, we get to re-equip it. Goes on to the Boars. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, then we go Boar's Effect. We are going to dump, or rather choose, uh, Excalibur, Destiny, and we already have the Arfiduator. I kind of like the Calibur. Uh, against your deck, Galatin is kind of good because you have just like large dudes. So that's sort of a concern. Uh, I'll go for the Calibur though. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's see what's coming to hand. All right, so get the caliber into hand. Uh, so we can equip that. That yep. makes Medrot to five. And we can overlay. And you've seen this play before. Yes, I have. Uh, I do have other fives, but none of them are as good as this guy. So we'll just go for him. All right, so these fall off. Uh, Sacred King effect, if you'll allow it. Uh, we are going to equip everything except the Arfredurator because you have no back row, so whatever. Uh, we'll go caliber in effect. We'll gain five. And we'll also equip Gwenifar from our hand. I figured that was why you weren't. <laughs> we'll just, we'll get swinging 3,000. Uh, sure. Uh, Gores. I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? I was about to say <laughs> no like, shot. No. No shot. Actually, right. no uh, shot. Okay. Stand by main. Wow. Yep. That was a draw. All right. Uh, I normal summon Lilybot. Are we going to be having a machine dupe in our future? We might. We could. It's possible. Uh, we'll get a couple guys. Sure. 
Uh, okay, so how does this work? You have Destiny, which protects from one destruction. Gwen substitutes for a second destruction. So if I go main phase Exciton Knight, uh, you go blank one, blank two, but then he doesn't have protection. Am I reading this right? Yes, but... If they get destroyed, they can also re-equip themselves as well. Okay, so I'm I'm <laughs> fucked. Uh, okay, no big kind deal. Kind of, kind of. I think we have some outs. Oh god, there's just a lot we can accomplish here. I'm gonna have to get in the tank for a sec. Yeah. So to clarify, why you're going in the tank, noble arms once per turn, the equip monster cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. So it's a, it doesn't destroy itself. It will just do that once per turn. And then Guinevere will actually go to the graveyard and that doesn't have a replacement effect. So yes, in theory, if you pop me twice, a third destruction in theory should kill the sacred noble knight. I think you might be dead. What? <laughs> and I know, right? No shot. No uh, shot. That uh, that King Artorius effect. It's a slow. It is not a quick effect, unfortunately. This card, this deck is somewhat balanced. Okay. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Cannot be targeted by card effects. Gwen Fier gives it if it would be destroyed by card effect. Okay. Uh, we're gonna activate Lilybot. Uh, we're gonna tribute herself and this one. Uh, we are going to summon Galaxy Tyranno and Galaxy Knight. This is not good. Expedition. Uh, we are going to grab Gapt uh, in defense. And then we're going to overlay these three. Oh, we going for the big fucker? For Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Oh, this is the guy. Okay. So, because I used Gept as material, all other face-up cards on the field have their effects are negated. And then once per turn, I can detach a material from this card. I will do this. All your monster's material is detached. I'm thinking here. Hold on. Does the first effect of Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon activate? Or is it just like a... No, it activates. It activates. It does activate? Okay. I'm just going to Veiler then in that case. If a Veiler. Oh, that's a thinker. Oh, that changes a great deal. Mm. Okay. Let's put this back on. Why is this not on Castell? Is Castell not out? It might not be out. <laughs> that that would. It's not fun. out. That's uh, Duelist Alliance. That's why. Castell targets even so. Well, I, I had other plans. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have the material to out this guy just yet. So we are going to go Soul Charge here. I had a feeling that Soul Charge is like the follow-up to all of this, which is kind of terrifying. Yep. What are you doing? Uh, We might do three. Let me just decide real quick. Yeah, we're going to Neo Galaxy Eyes just to get this guy in grave. And then we'll do... Uh, We'll we'll do three. Uh, we'll do... Okay. Yeah, we'll do three. Yeah. Uh, So we'll take sure. one, two, three here. Uh, we're going to go Galaxy Wizard's effect to increase by four. I'm going to overlay Wizard and Gept for Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. And then I'm going to overlay Lilybot and Lilybot for Exciton Knight. Oh, okay. All <laughs> this right. Is very stupid. We're going to go... Hieratic Sun Dragon, tribute Neo Galaxy Eyes and Orbital 7 from my hand to target Gwenfar and Destiny. I see. Uh, uh, we'll actually, we'll retain the Orbital 7 in hand. We'll tribute the <laughs> the Hieratic on field. So you're going to go after the Gwenfar and the Destiny? Yes. So Gwenfar dies, uh, Destiny dies, Destiny's effect re-equip itself. And I'll declare Excite Knight in response. Uh, in response to the, the Destiny effect trigger. of re-equipping? Yes, because it's a quick effect. Okay, uh, so then this would still be engraved. And yes, we're you're at more cards, so everything else here dies. Oh, God, I was like, if you have a Veiler, I literally <laughs> lose. I'm fucking dead. I'm probably dead anyway. I mean, You this actually, is... I, I'm shocked you even cleared it, though. <laughs> That's pretty God. sick. It took 40, for those of you at home, it took 45 minutes and eight take backs, <laughs> but we found the the line. All right, back to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the best part about this is when I just do this. And no! <laughs> oh, you better not go to battle phase, buddy, because I will excite. Hey, if I go to you. battle phase, I'm oh, fucked. It's all are, over now. It's all done. over now. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter. That's the best part. Yeah, uh, just... Okay. <laughs> I just need... I can even just soul charge for one. I don't even yeah, need to go say. for two. <laughs> That's the funny... Medrot's the whole line. That's the I, whole... I feel deck, like baby. you might as well. Oh, wait. You actually don't have any good guys in here. Yeah, no. It's like I can bring back Artorgas just to like have He's a, a dude. Lad. But yeah. he, he's just like, he doesn't do anything now. Oh, I guess Artorg is special when you Exiton, but that's okay. I forgot that that was a thing. That's that's my fault because it's not a mandatory effect, right? It's a you, I, you can. can. You can bring it back. Yeah. I, I think we're playing a little fast and loose anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Uh... Well, fine. In that case, then, if we're doing that, then I would just have this Medrod on the field. I don't even have to Soul Charge. 
Well, I can just excite on again, right? You're still no, up by a card. Per, oh, it's it's a once per chain. It's no, this guy's fucking. Turn. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. So it just gets the right, material okay, off okay. there. Okay. All right. We figured it out. Yeah, we figured yeah, yeah, it yeah. out. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. We'll go Medrot. There's not really a point for boars, but like, sure. <laughs> it's like, not? why not? Fuck it. Let's just fuck it. Let's just get them all. Yeah. Bring them all, out. all right. You know, Calburn's going to give us life points anyway, so it's like we get a discount. Okay. Uh, now, I do need a Noble Arms for Medrot is the only bad part here, but I do have a Guinevere in hand. So awesome. Is there something else I can get? Can I do something else funny? Can I win the game? No, but I'm very close. I was going to say, without so, a battle phase, that's going to be... <laughs> I am actually 100 off. I don't think there's oh! any... There's not, where's a Noble Arms of, of burning life points? That's what I need. Uh, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. This guy doesn't get enough respect. Let's bring out Noble Knight Brother. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Pop Guinevere. Uh-huh. Uh, then we're going to use the effect of Brothers. I'm going to <laughs> shuffle back any Noble Knights or Noble Arms. Uh, we're going to shuffle back. Well, maybe not Guinevere. Let's just do... Not that. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, let's just do these three. We'll do uh, Excalibur... Caliburn and Destiny. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm so good at this game. I am so good at this game. Are you? <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll put this on Boars, trigger Boars. Uh, we will choose Destiny. We will choose Excalibur. And we will choose. Uh, we already have the Caliburn. and Arfredurator's already engraved. So it's Guinevere. Let's do Gallatin. Fuck yeah, it. Why Who not? cares? <laughs> yeah. Just do it all. Yeah, hey, you got, got it, even. Uh, so we'll equip it. We'll make him a five. Yep. Uh, we'll overlay these two idiots. Uh, we'll just make the boy again. Mm -hmm. uh, I could make Volcasaurus and get you down to 100. But, oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, it doesn't kill you, so I think this is just the better line. So we'll activate. Uh, let's just equip everything. Uh, Caliburn effect, I'll gain five. Uh, Sacred Knight effect, let's pop Exiton, even though he's not even a threat anymore. Yep. Oh, wow, we haven't even normal summoned, have we? Nope. Uh, no, we haven't. Can't you normal the Something Metarot? Else we do? What else? No, you Does soul anything charge. else just like mess with your deck? Like a four? <laughs> yeah, I can make a four. I just don't know if like, anything uh, I don't think matters. that Abyss Dweller does anything. I'm going to be honest. I don't think with it you. does either. And that's like the only thing that has like a you just set up laval chain effect. i did this deck I, is not playing it so you could not you set know. up laval chain yeah i cannot set up laval honestly i think just keeping brothers around just for card draw is kind of good so he's I'll just the pass. lad he's the lad <laughs> uh okay good draw good draw uh pretty decent um okay so this artorius can't be destroyed once and the other artorius don't do anything but they both float yes right, now that is... we remember that they float uh we'll go galaxy zero target wizard well, normal orbital seven. <laughs> That's a four. You got it, boss. Uh, let's make. I fucking know. I. <laughs> uh, let's let's make one oh one. Uh, sure. One oh one. Yeah, take the one I can target. Yep. All yours. Well, I can't out either of the monsters on field, uh, so you have got it. <laughs> this was good. This was a well, fun <laughs> These were actually a lot of fun. I had a you great time. You want to do time. the game three? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, I want to be mad about that, but honestly, it was, it was just cool. It was really fun. <laughs> It was, yeah, like, I mean, the fact that we both have three souls. Does a lot of work. Makes, Does a lot of work fun. for the deck. Yeah. Because there's just so many plays that we have access to. All right, All right is, let's see what you got. Is, uh, mm, mm. I will tell you, looking at my hand, this is the best shot you've got in three games. Well, uh, looking at my hand, uh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, no no dupe this time. We do have Excel Light. Uh, this card's okay, crazy. Yeah. This card, yeah. uh, let's me specially Photon or Galaxy Monster from deck. I kind of want to go Wizard. I'm not going to lie. Um, ah, Wizard is so weird. So, like, you can go Wizard into zero to bring back the Wizard, but then it can't activate its effects, so it's stuck at four. That's yeah, annoying. it's not yeah. ideal. Uh, my hand's looking pretty stellar otherwise. Uh, we are going to grab Wizard. Uh, we're going to increase its level. Such a strong restriction on this Excel light. Yeah, you can level uh, it We'll That's fine. tribute him. Uh, I'm going to go get uh, Galaxy sure. Expedition. And uh, just like every other game, we are just going to set one. Now, hold up. You cannot normal summon or set. Okay, so I see that they hate me in my life. I was like, oh, yep. well, I can still set a monster so I don't die. Wrong-o. 
Uh, okay. Well, the question is, do you actually play traps? Do I believe you play traps? Uh, Rhoda. Yeah. <laughs> well, get the boy. Uh, if you see Medrot, this deck is kind of crazy. Yes. Though. Normal Medrot. Um, I know this is wrong, but I'm just going to Solemn here. <laughs> uh, I respect it. Honestly, kind of stops me dead in my tracks. I will set one. <laughs> okay, I was like, there's a lot that punishes this, but, uh, you know, maybe I just won't get punished. Uh, okay, um, I will normal Lilybot. Okay, Machine Doom. No, just Lilybot effect. Sure. Uh, we will special Gept. Expedition. Okay. We'll get another Gept. I actually think we're getting Tyranno. And then let's go... Uh, let's just try and get in for three here. It's fine. All right. Uh, second main, we'll go... God, if I had dupe, you were just dead. I, that's just... That's the that's the deck. I will tell you right now, yes, I was probably uh, We'll dead. go Felgrand. And back to you. I'll draw. Uh-oh. Uh let's go... Sets and Kaiser Coliseum. Well, Have here fun. We are. Yep. Stand by me. Woo! Yep. No, not there. You can't be there yet. That doesn't exist yet. Uh, attack. It is brother. <laughs> okay, second main. Um, we get to. Okay, this is gross. Uh, we're gonna Felgrand here, targeting itself. Uh, zero targeting wizard to get it back. Yeah, sure. Uh, normal Galaxy Knight. Galaxy Knight effect. Target the Gept. I don't want to just keep these guys on field. I feel like they're crazy. Uh, no, I'll I'll make a I'll make a lad. Uh, we're gonna make Heliopolis. Uh, Heliopolis will uh, pop the wizard and an orbital seven from hand, and we'll get these two. Yep, it was decree. I don't know if your deck plays traps. So uh, I play the actually. one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to you. We'll draw. Uh, we're in danger. I will set one. Activate Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> yeah. Stand by. I'm me. just trying to not die. Oh, this one's a little frustrating. Mm, it's a. It's very frustrating because I. I want to just get I want to just get greedy Heliopolis pop the cut we would have to have drawn another monster to just win we'll just go combat it is another brother yeah <laughs> just two brothers oh. second main normal Lilybot special orbital seven we finally got to use it uh yeah. we're gonna overlay these two for Sukiyomi just try to draw some more stuff yeah sure. why not uh, we don't need this dupe because we had all the lily bots in rotation anyway. Oh, those are wow. Those, <laughs> they're okay. I don't think there's any way out of this. Uh, and there's not. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Oh, uh, it sucks too because I had Arfordurder to pop your warning, but it had to be warning of all things. So like, I can't interact with that. It was like, oh, so if I had waited for the uh, for the King Artorius, I would have died to activate. Actually, Arfordurder. yes, a hundred percent. So funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, this was... turned out to be a lot more exciting than we thought. Wow, what a what a break from the you know Slifer Ninja profiles. This was a, oh, this stop. was a treat. A Galaxy Photon players. I I feel like Danny DeVito right now. I get it. I get it. I understand it. This deck is so close to being good. Uh, it's got like all the tools to repeatably make rank eights. It's got a the rank eight pool at this time is unbelievable. Yeah. There's Heliopolis, there's Felgrand, all their on theme guys, uh, Galaxy Prime, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon, and Neo Galaxy Eyes are crazy. Giant Grinder, Alessi. It's un like it's the stuff we have now. Orbital Seven sucks ass. Like this is a terrible card, but Lilybot's really good. It helps that they both uh, have a stat line that works with machine duplication. You can make repeatable fours. You can cycle like 15 cards in one turn game one you know uh you were dead but for the kaiser coliseum because i opened like trade in which has like 15 targets in the deck which gets you into more trade ins which gets you into lily bots which can convert into sukiyomis like you just see half your deck in the first turn even if you aren't able to overlay is a big guy like he is difficult to out um he yeah. is very recursive uh excel light is an e-telly years before e-telly was even remotely good i guess years after e-telly and teledad made it broken and then you know you Years yeah. before it was good a second time. Before it was good again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's got, like, on-theme pre-mat. Uh, Galaxy Expedition is, like, uh, Kashtira Papias is the closest thing I can think to it. This is just a who's who of, like, powerful cards. And there were better decks during this time. Decks that didn't have to, as we had to every single game one, pass for a turn to wait to get off to the races. Uh, decks that could come out swinging from the outset, that could put up monsters that couldn't be defeated by the rank 8 pool, and um, unfortunately uh was enough <laughs> it just was enough yeah you have to think like this was primal origin right and mm -hmm. what is the deck of primal origin i mean it's hat 
Yeah. And so like hat format, the deck that you're going to be playing against most often is going to be setting three to four back row. And our decks were not playing any back row. And so when you're going off completely unimpeded, like, yeah, this deck is crazy. And honestly, your guys are just gigantic. Well, they're too. enormous. Like, I mean, the fact you have recursive Galaxy as Photon Dragon at 3K, but then all your rank gates you go into are also just gigantic as well. Mm -hmm. Again, when you're going up against a deck, like for instance, Hat, and has all this back row you have to interact with, it becomes a lot harder for you to pull off these ridiculous combos. I think it was fun that we played these decks because Sans Kaiser Coliseum, we kind of just got to do our own thing and just like battle back and forth and just like, okay, I out your board, you out my board. We don't play any trap cards. I had like Valor one time yeah. uh, and that was like really it. Um, uh, I, the other I will decks say, around this time... Yeah, I, th this deck's really cool, but like you said, if, if Hat flips Torrential, it's over. Like, that's it. Right. <laughs> you lose. Then there's also uh, like Sylvan around this time. Yep, yep. Right? And Sylvan is... That's a rank 8 not, combo deck. It's a it's, it's like sort of a rank 8 combo deck, but it just does what this deck does arguably much better because it can even play through the disruption just because of the nature of the way the deck works. And so I I will say I have a newfound respect for this deck because like the whole... I, I was like you. People have always just been yelling at me, oh, this deck is crazy. You got to check this deck out. And I'm like, eh, like I've seen these cards cards before i i'm not like i don't really get it i i get it now and i can see why people would like this deck because especially people who just like Yu-Gi-Oh, they like just summoning big fucking dudes right and that's what this deck does really well boy i remember this deck very fondly which is why when you you sent this as one of the decks for us to play for uh this week i was excited because i never actually played this deck i played against it very frequently and so i had to like learn how this deck worked because a lot of people my locals at this time were on this and it was just very frustrating having to always play against it uh for kaiser coliseum royal decree purposes uh this deck is this deck also is crazy when it goes off like a single copy of med drop plus an equip spell you're you have like the kitchen sink and more you have like the perfect protect the castle style of deck where you have this like indestructible guy that can also pop cards and he's huge and like you're gaining life points and you have like follow like it, it, this deck is just once it goes off but as you saw in this game as well as game one if you don't open med drop, this deck is not good <laughs> The deck's great. The deck uh, has a lot going for it. Uh, it's got uh, an unbelievable amount of uh, starters and extenders. It's got all these weird protections. It gets to play KC. And it was expected to be good in the TCG. Like, we all just sort of yeah. thought that it would be good. There was so much time spent on printing cards for this deck and, like, product for this deck. It was in all the promotional stuff. We were like, they want Noble Knight to be good. You look at a card like Boars and you think, okay, well, it has to be strong in some capacity. And it just wasn't. It had like the yeah. Cosmo ships pilots problem where you could draw too many of the equips or too many of the monsters and none of the equips and it just couldn't go yep. off. Um, it had absolute must finds like uh, like Metarot, like you said. And um, had the end result was kind of a bricky mess. Uh, add to that the fact that it's actually really complicated to play. And a lot of duelists thought, well, if I could just play any other rank four engine, why wouldn't I? And uh, mostly got passed over, sadly. A lot of people think uh, of this deck compared to like Bujin, which uh -huh. is interesting because they play a lot of the same cards. They play KC, they play Decree, they play Lance, right? And one of the, the advantages that I feel like a deck bo like Bujin has, you may not have like a Yamato that's invincible, uh, but you have a lot less bricks in the deck. And Yamato isn't as much of a must find compared to something like Medrot. You also have alternative finds like Mikazuchi and such, mm -hmm. right? So there's like, there's a lot of comparisons between the two decks. And I think because Bujin was so popular, uh, not too far uh, earlier than like when this deck was viable, that people sort of made that connection. But when you start to piece together the fact that you have to play like a bunch of these really bricky cards in your deck that actually don't do anything versus like Bujin that they could just be like more standalone type cards. Like at least like with Bujin, the equips are actually monsters that can do something. Right. And like uh, your, your, uh, what is it? Your destiny is your Bujingi hair. Your, uh, uh, what is it? Your Excalibur is your Bujingi turtle. So yep. at least they're bodies. Right. Uh, and so I think that was like one of like the biggest differences between the, the two strategies. But it, I think just because of the lore and the theme and the, of the whole archetype, a lot of people just like the concept of it. Mm -hmm. And like, it's fun. Like it when is. you pull it off, it's insane. But uh, it just wasn't good enough to stack up to like the other good. Like, again, you have to stand up to hat. 
to Sylvan to Infernity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th this this deck, it, you would get lucky if you open the combo with Kaiser. Like then, yes, you're probably going to win guaranteed. But you couldn't do that two games out of three consistent enough for it to matter. I'd like to thank Soul Charge for bringing us this episode. By the way, neither of our decks yeah. would have fucking done anything if not for Soul Charge. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shoutout1317, Tim00x3, Moto, MBT Play Medulce, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, Par 2, The Sinker Guide, Dan Man Hoban, Phoenix the Immortal, Dixon Yamada, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet, Indian Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves, Dad, Max, Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Dalton, Lou Bon Yodabon. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible. Horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, Simos Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Sakura San, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, and True Dragon Gaming. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.